What is up YouTube? We are back and this week I got a special treat. Um, we have a brand that you wouldn't necessarily think of when you think of ice cream. It is the granola bar brand, uh, the Kind brand specifically. They don't classify this as an ice cream. It is a creamy frozen dessert. Uh, it is plant-based, so there's that. We got the dark chocolate almond sea salt, the dark chocolate peanut butter, then we got the cherry cashew flavor here. So it's kind of interesting. These guys started off making all natural kind of organic granola bars. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into these. Okay, up first we got the cherry cashew flavor. So let's pop this open and see what it looks like. I'm eating out of the tub because I'm crazy like that. So yeah, ooh, uh, it is a nice dark red color. Very cherry-like. Um, let's dig into it here a little bit. You can kind of see the cashews spread out in the tub here. All right. The first thing I notice is that it's pretty decently creamy. It's got a nice deep cherry flavor and the cashews are coming through quite nicely here. There also looks to be little chunks of, very small chunks of cherry flavor or cherry chunks in here as well. This does remind me a lot of their granola bars quite a bit. It's got that kind of same flavor to it. A lot of very natural nutty flavors, uh, a lot of natural fruit flavors all kind of combined into one. The cherry flavor is a very nice, very deep, dark amaretto flavor, very cherry. It's very natural tasting, meaning you don't get that fake kind of syrupy cherry flavor. The nuts and the very small pieces of cherry in here are giving it a nice texture as well. It's not just a boring bite. I thought this one was gonna be a lot sweeter than it is. I like the nice balance that it has. It's not too sweet, but you're still getting a very nice cherry flavor. So far, we started out of the gate pretty strong. Uh, would I buy this again? Yes, I would buy this flavor again. It's not too sweet. It's got a good balance to it. It's got a great texture to it with the nuts and the cherry chunks in there. It's got a nice deep pink red to it, which makes the ice cream pop to your eyes a little bit. Makes it very appetizing. It's quite creamy for not being classified as an ice cream. If you tend to go for more of the dark chocolate and the peanut butter and the cookie kind of ice creams, this is a great one to pair with that, just to give yourself more of a variety of flavor and taste. It'll give you a break from that, the chocolatey kind of uh, spectrum of things and, and put you more into like a sweet, fruity zone without being overly sweet. And I really like that. Uh, I definitely would pair this and buy it again for that reason. My only gripe about this one is that I think the cashews are a tad overpowering, but nothing crazy. Uh, it's a good mixture and it's a solid flavor. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, second, we've got the dark chocolate almond sea salt. This one I think will be closest to what their granola bars taste like. So let's look at it real quick, see what it looks like. We pop this one open and it's definitely got a lot of nuts throughout and chocolate chips. It looks like a vanilla body, kind of an off-white color. Wow. I was not expecting that. That is a roller coaster of flavor. Wow, it's got a lot of stuff going on. So I thought this one was gonna be the closest to the granola bar, but it's actually quite different from their granola bar. When you first bite into it, you get this punch of salty, creamy, kind of vanilla flavor. And then you go into that dark kind of almondy chocolate flavor as you get near the end of your bite. So that sea salt really hits you in the beginning of the bite. Then when you get to the middle section, you start getting into the almonds 
and then the chocolate comes through and it's quite good it's it's quite a nice flavor profile um, it's got great texture you got the chocolate chips and the almonds all mixing together like I said with the last one for not being classified as ice cream it is quite creamy it is quite dense and uh, I really like the salt in this one a lot it really makes the other flavors pop out throughout the bite I am pleasantly surprised with this ice cream another thing I'm noticing is you can tell when ice cream is well made it looks like it's really packed in and dense but also has that fluffiness to it again with this one it's got a really nice balance with all its flavors the chocolate isn't too rich or bold the nuts and the chocolate chips are actually mixing really well with the vanilla kind of creaminess of the body it really makes for a nice bite definitely would get this again it's really not even that expensive like the granola bars that they have it's right in line with this is right in line with like halo top and some of the other some of the other alternative kind of ice creams I definitely recommend you trying this one for sure. All right, let's get on to the next one. I'm coming back to this one later. Okay, last but not least, we got the dark chocolate peanut butter and any alternative ice cream that makes peanut butter and chocolate is okay in my book. And so far they presented two solid flavors, so I'm expecting this one to be no different. Let's get this open and see what it looks like. Uh, so this one probably, to me, looks the least appetizing. It's probably the most quintessential kind of stereotypical chocolate ice cream and how it looks it's just looks like chocolate so let's get into it here so this one i can already tell for whatever reason is less creamy and there's something else going on with the the consistency it's kind of chunking sort of like keto ice cream does sometimes uh, i don't know why this is so different than the other two one gripe i have sometimes with peanut butter chocolate ice cream and that is that Sometimes these brands uh, will shave off little pieces of peanut butter chunks. They're like little flakes and it's just not enough in my opinion. I know peanut butter can be a strong flavor, but sometimes you can lose some of that peanut butter in the chocolate and that is sort of what's going on here. There's just not enough peanut butter flavor. Yeah, I don't, I really don't know what's going on with this one. It's just like, how could this one be so different from the first two? It's dense, but the fluffiness isn't there it's almost like it's almost frozen ish or something i don't know and it's like flakes off but yeah i'm kind of disappointed with this one with the first two being so good i thought this one was going to be excellent as well I'm getting some bites that are kind of flavorless in terms of the peanut butter. And I probably wouldn't get this one again. It's not exciting. It's something I've had before and something you can get in other brands that are way better. This is unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, this one kind of is a dud. This one definitely needs to go back to the drawing board to get that nice creaminess, maybe add a little bit more peanut butter flavor. So I would stay away from this one until it gets reworked a bit. Here you have it. The Kind Brand Ice Cream Review has come to an end. And I must say, I am pleasantly surprised with the flavors of these ice creams. For this being their first go at ice cream, they've done a pretty good job. That's not to say they have stuff that they don't need to work on. If you wanna try this brand out, definitely start with the dark chocolate almond sea salt. It is extremely good. It's got the most kind of different flavors going on throughout it. It's very creamy. It's definitely the best all around. It's got a good balance between all the flavors inside that are going on. It's dense, it's fluffy, it's well-made ice cream. In second place, we got the Cherry Cashew. It's definitely a nice break from your chocolate and deep flavors and gets you to try things more on the fruity side without being too sweet. And then lastly, we got the Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter. So this one has some weird thing going on with the body of the ice cream. It was mostly frozen. 
uh, it didn't have that creaminess to it, it didn't have that nice dense fluffiness to it, and I wish it had a little bit more peanut butter in it. It was kind of boring to be honest. So I think the Kind brand is on the right track. Two out of three ain't bad. But yeah, very good ice cream and you can pick these up in stores. So go and try them for yourself and as always, stay tuned.